Hey man, it's <laughs> it's old Brookie here. Hey, I've got a, a newer student named Ross who is out in California, and we just have the greatest time doing a Zoom lesson on Thursday mornings. And uh, Ross sends me a whole bunch of Johnny Winter um, videos, which are really fun, and they've got me kind of wound up. You know, Johnny Winter was a source of, you know, a lot of energy and fun, entertainment, and just creativity and just wow cool and you know to play that style well you know it's Johnny Winter but you can get down and boogie in your own way and what Ross and I were just really having fun doing we were about 87 beats a minute playing stuff like using our thumb and then we use our fingers to go like kind of missed there <laughs> That's a good little fill to put in. We're just like coming up with different fills. So that's your basic boogie. Let's just check, make sure everybody's got that. That's your index and ring, kind of pumping along with that rhythm. And a metronome really does help you stay focused. So like if you can play for like four seconds and you quit, you need to kind of keep her keep the train rolling down the highway. So maybe I'll grab a metronome here in a second, but uh, make sure you got that. And that's like two, two, four, four, two, two, and then on the big string, three, four, and then an E note, second fret, fourth string. Even though that's simple, you probably know that. You're probably going, yeah, I already got that down. Well, keep playing it, man. It's okay to review and go back and hit this basic stuff. I was, I was telling Ross that at the end of the day, after making videos, teaching, writing stuff out, recording, you know, getting my amps fixed and running all over town, doing what I gotta do, and spacing out for a while long hard day of spacing out i read and you know take care of the lawn and take care of the cats and do whatever my wife tells me but at the end of that long exhausting day i just flop on the couch with the guitar and just keep going man <laughs> it's really fun simple stuff so one little phrase you can add to that is like I think that's a cool variation to to put into your one and two and three and four and a uh, four and a. Uh, I already forgot. It's kind of like Mississippi Queen, or kind of reminds me of Purple Haze. So I like that slide to a B, 7th fret, 6th string, and then 5th string, 5th fret, D, then a G, 5th fret, 4th string, and a E, 7th fret, 4th, 5th string. Jeez, kind of falling apart here. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. It's kind of a standard, just good old riff, you know. If you can fit that into your boogie. So I got a B, D, E, G, E. On that G, I give it a little... Pull it over. That's just a killer fill. 
I want to make sure you got that. I want to make sure I got that. <laughs> So repetition, I'm going to turn on the metronome. So the metronome will kind of keep you on track, literally, you know, keep you on the tracks versus veering off or spacing off or taking a curve, you know, it kind of keeps you going down the road straight, uh, which is really good practice in case you ever jam with a drummer. It's good mentally, it's good practice, it just feels good, it's going to sound better, you're going to be able to play longer, you're building uh, endurance. Uh, it's, and, and a little game I was playing was how many different variations could I throw in there. So that's something you can do. Just get that basic boogie going and then add variations and fills, okay? Little variations. That would be awesome. So that's just E boogie with some variations. All right. Uh, have a great week, guys. That was super fun to just make this video and uh, I hope you're doing great and we'll see you soon. Thanks.